This video guides the installation of TSDZ16 motor, crank, and speed sensor. Step 1. Accessories and Tool Step 2. Assemble the sprocket and chain set cover. Assemble the chain ring cover set with a cross screwdriver and M for self tapping screw. Assemble the chain ring with M for Allen key and M5 screw. Installing the bottom bracket. Step 3. Motor Installation Put the motor into the bottom bracket. Rotate the motor to check. If motor touch the chain stay, put the bottom bracket washer on the motor to avoid the chain stay. But don't lock to the end. You can add the correct amount of washers for the screws, but don't lock to the end. Assemble the bottom bracket lock nut. Turn the motor toward down to tighten the bottom bracket lock nut. Tighten stiffening plate screws. Assemble the bottom bracket lock nut cover. Tighten the bottom bracket lock nut by using bottom bracket nut wrench. Before assembling the stiffening plate, we should pre-attach the stiffening plate screws and washers. If bottom bracket washers were used previously, then prefer longer stiffening plate screws in this step. Please notice the direction and position of stiffening plate. Then we can assemble the stiffening plate on the motor, but don't lock to the end. Assemble the bottom bracket lock nut. Tighten the bottom bracket lock nut. Assemble the bottom bracket lock nut cover. Tighten the bottom bracket lock nut by using bottom bracket nut wrench. Step 4. Crank and speed sensor installation. Assemble the left crank by using an 8 Allen key.
screw the magnet on the spoke. Adjust the flat side of magnet to face with the arrow on the sensor. Use cable tied to lock the speed detect sensor on the chainstay. Screw the magnet on the spoke. Adjust the flat side of magnet to face with the arrow on the sensor. Accessories and tools. The accessories we will need will be display, remote, throttle. Tools we need will be Allen key set, cutter, cable tie, display remote installation. Take out the screws on the display by using M3 Allen key. Needed or not of the washer in the display is according to the diameter of your handlebar. Place the display on the handlebar, adjust the position. Lock the display by using M3 Allen key. Take out the screws on the remote by using M2 Allen key. Put the remote on the left side of the handlebar. Connect the remote and display. Throttle installation. Take off the right side of the grip. Lost the screw of the throttle by using M2.5 Allen key. Put the throttle on the handlebar. Take off the middle rubber plug behind the display, and make sure that the arrow side is facing up while connecting it with throttle. Battery installation. Install your battery. Connection of lines. Connect the display. Connect the battery. Connect speed sensor. Display test. Turn the system on. Test the display function. Activate the throttle to see if the motor runs and the speed shows on the display.